Hello and welcome back to Console Cowboys. In the last set of videos, we were using a whole bunch of tools to analyze and attack devices. We got familiar with wave patterns and decoding those into binary. We used graphical tools to view and monitor RF frequencies. We then briefly touched on RFCAT to send off our attack with the yardstick one. But there's a lot more we can do with RFCAT and the yardstick. I decided to dive much deeper into RFCAT and how we can do everything we just did except this time with Python and the yardstick one. When I started to try to do this, I quickly realized there are no good resources at all. Apart from the library documentation and scattered scripts, there really is no guide on how to do this, but I really wanted to use my yardstick for most everything in case I only had it with me. So I spent the good part of the last week playing around and figuring out how to do that. In this video, we're gonna automate all of our attacks with RFCAT from the command line figure out the different data types that were used and how to convert them to what we need, and all of the gotchas in between only using RFCAT and Python. One of the first things we need to do is scan the 315 frequency to see if we can see our alarm system. We can do this in RFCAT with something called SpecScan. If we give SpecScan our frequency, it will provide us with a spectrum analyzer. So if I maximize this and then I hit the doorbell, we'll see a spike at the 315 frequency. Right there is our doorbell and we know we can see what's going on. So this will replace things like GQRX, but the only problem is we can't record from this. So we need to figure out how to sniff and record our frequencies. That way we can start attacking our target. I'm going to close this out and get back to my OSX terminal. I only use Ubuntu here because I had issues with some of the prereqs for spec scan. We'll load RFCAT back up and paste in our settings. These should be familiar from the last video, other than lowball, which really all it does is allow more data to flow through, allowing some noise in. Then we're going to use RF listen. You can hear our doorbell in the background. So if I cruise up and I take a look at the data that we got back, You'll notice a few repeating patterns. We have something that starts with an 84 and ends with a 38. And that appears in a few different places. So my guess is this is the repeating pattern that's actually telling the doorbell to ring. Kind of like in our waveform last time that kept repeating. We can take a look at the binary by dumping it in a Python function here. The thing about this is it's a little bit different than our last one. We see rows of four zeros, we see rows of two zeros, but our original binary was in sets of threes and sets of ones. So this is a little different, but I wonder if it'll work if we start an attack. Let's grab our capture data and we will paste it in our original Python code we used to send the attack in the last blog. Need to format this with the backslash x like the code above. We'll do this before each set of two characters. And once we're done, we'll paste it above to replace what's there right now, which you'll notice is quite a bit different than what we have. So let's paste that in there. And then we can send our attack across and see if this different attack will work. We will need to get out of our Python shell and hop into a normal terminal so that we can run our script. Okay, I didn't hear anything. Let's try again. Ah, there we go. So it messed up the first time, but the second time we did get a ring. We were able to actually run a full attack using only RFCAT and the yardstick but there's a lot more to it if we want to start trying to automate attacks and use our data on the fly to create these attacks rather than manually constructing it. So in the next video, we're going to get into that. If you learned something in this video, hit the like button below. If you want to be updated of new content, hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you in the next video.